Anybody else share that sentiment? Okay. That's okay. Um, along this line, we have achieved these metrics in our automotive group by a number of different things. And I'm going to share them with you today, one of which I want to be very clear. We are a 100% digital retailer, digital investor, period. We do not participate or invest our finite resources in anything that is not attributable. And digital is the only thing that we have found and we embrace that gives us the necessary attribution. We do not do mailers. We do not do television, billboards, radio, any of the feel-good shit that will bleed our money and prevent us from being able to put our resources somewhere that is going to generate the necessary return. I am very particular about not using the word cost, because cost is a disconnection. When I talk about how much something costs, I'm already recognizing that I just need to cover the cost. When I make an investment, I'm looking for what? Return. Amen. Every single time, yes? We've all invested in the viewer socket, a few of you are actually evaluating the dealer socket and are looking for the return that comes as a result of said investment. We are blessed with an organization that we founded as a result of our internal discipline that is called ZMA, and Ashley Mayberry, who led a discussion at 2 p.m. this afternoon about building a powerhouse BBC, is a member of that team. Okay? That is a dealer-to-dealer -dealer company that serves dealers outside of our direct competing markets with really the skills and discipline and investor science that we have applied inside our automotive group. <laughs> and lastly, currently I should say, is the Vehicle Supply Group, which is a beautiful, wonderful organization where we work with the manufacturers on all of the development and new product launch introductions for the OEMs. The blessings for the dealers in the room is that we acquire, borrow, rent, whatever the case may be, thousands of units a year all across the US and Canada, and we do that with other dealers. So as you can see that each of our companies is very centered in our commitment to being a retail automotive holding group. We are a colleague as a fellow dealer, we are a partner and investment manager, and we are also a supplier, okay? In 2017, we had every intention of releasing two additional companies. I'm not prepared to share with them today, but they are going to help fulfill more of an ecocentric ability for us to lead and serve and provide for dealers. Okay? Selfishly, for ourselves. All the things that we've done thus far have been born inside our organization. Okay? Our company is led by a commitment that we read in Good to Great. Who's read the book Good to Great? Jim Collins. Highly recommend you read it. I would write that down. Good to Great, Jim Collins. If you read any Jim Collins books, he spends a decade with 40 or 50 research analysts and they will compile things that they can encapsulate into a few hundred pages that will give you perspective and clarity, I would say, without even. And one of the things that we talk about in that book is called the hedgehog concept. It's three intersecting circles with a common union. I'm happy to share this with you, and FYI, my contact information will be available at the end, and I will send you a copy of this deck. But for us, our passion is our trust mark. Our passion is our brand promise. Our passion is the Cardinelli way. And it says that we develop an outstanding relationship where everybody wins. We go to work, folks. What I'm going to share with you today requires work. We are going to have to go to work and set the expectation that an outstanding relationship means that I shouldn't be thankful that you showed up on time and stood for 12 hours getting sunburned, hoping on the up, on the hope land for an up to then come back and do it the next day. Okay? We're investing in each other in our people, in our processes to produce a particular return. The very next is what are we going to be the best in the world at? 
It's not what will we try. It's every single day, what will we get after and be the very best in the world at? And I'm going to clarify what management-driven means. It means that we could care less what the market is doing. Yes, I said that out loud. I really doesn't care. See, we cared at one time. We chased the market. Sales were up. What did I mean? More people, more stuff, more $5.99 a month blinky shining widgets that will bleed you into bankruptcy if you follow and chase all of that, yes? More stores, and then the economy switched. And what happened? It's like cutting a bag of water. Okay? We bled out in such short order, folks, that in March of 2009, we closed six franchises and lost over 300 associates. Whose responsibility is that? It's mine. Fair? So who failed? I did. Okay? And those, folks, will be days that we will never repeat again. So management driven says that we make our own weather. Management driven says that we have five non negotiables at every single level of the organization. We share them with you. Dealer socket, number one on the list. If it does not exist in dealer socket, it's a lie. If dealer socket is wrong, whose responsibility is it? Come on, folks, we're all here together. It's whose responsibility if dealer socket is full of a bunch of shit? Ours. Ours. We allowed it to happen by abdication of our responsibilities that says, yeah, that's what the geeks do. That's what the BBC does that stuff. I'm in the car business, right? Give me a shark and a white piece of paper and I'll make a bunch of money for you. Let somebody else go figure that out. Bullshit. No way. At my office, at the owners, at every GM, at every single manager, there is no dust on your login. You are in it all the time, okay? Secondly, the auto, these are not pitches, folks. These are commitments for us. It's not a shiny appraisal tool. Whatever your personal belief system is, whatever systems you use, I get it. But dealer to dealer, I'm gonna share with you what we do, okay? It's a science. It is a capital investment management platform, period. It guides where, how, and in what form we invest our money. Would you all agree? Whether you use it or not. It is shocking how many people I run into and say, do you use the auto? Well, I do. Can you talk to me about your science? Well, I've raised my car today. Holy shit, what? It's like two grand a month. Are you kidding? Okay? All right. 20% empty gross. Minimum. Now, we're blessed with luxury brands. We have 11 OEM manufacturer partners. Okay? 20% net to gross would be an abysmal failure in how we were a BMW or an Acura store, would you agree? But 20% net to gross, all in, all done, every single month, month in and month out, that's what we do. I'm going to give you a couple nuggets for running back. Ready for one? This is your Saturday sales meeting nugget. We either make money or we make excuses. Which one's it going to be? Okay? Write down, put a period on it, let that one see, use it over and over again. Okay? We are a Christ-centered organization, a God-first company. This is not doctrine. I'm not here to preach to you, folks. What I am here to share with you is that what holds our union together as an organization is our belief in a moral guide and a moral compass and a relationship that extends far beyond us. Whatever your personal belief systems, they are yours. But we are a family and we honor what that means. Fair? Okay. We are here at User Summit. I've been blessed to speak here a couple of times. The takeaways from this conference has been amazing and truly transformative for us. Recognizing folks in 2010, we knew nothing about digital. We had dealer socket. It was a place you put phone numbers. Fair? Sound familiar? Okay. We live in it now. I love this user summit. It is like a fraternity. It's like family. Okay? I will be here for the entire time. If you need anything, I am more than happy to share. And why? Because we believe that not just the grace of God helped us, but it was men and women and dealers who kicked our ass into greatness. And we are privileged and pleased and blessed to give back. I would 
tell you anything you want to know. Okay? <laughs> Learning without doing. Now we write this down. Learning without doing is not learning at all. Make no mistake about it. There are brilliant minds, men and women, who are going to give and give and give in this conference. You may be overwhelmed. You may climb back on the airplane, feel like you just drank out of a fire hose. Holy shit, where do I even start? Okay? Try to digest it in slow bites, but recognize that learning without doing is not learning at all. Is it possible for you to take back everything that you've learned and implement it when you get home? So pick the ones that fit. Okay? All right. And the courage. The most optimum ingredient that I believe is essential to be a truly proactive leader is to have the courage. The courage to do a couple things. To firstly recognize that I don't have all the answers. Fair? Not the smartest guy in the room. I assure you, looking out over you guys, guarantee you I'm not the smartest one in the room. Okay? I do not have to have all the answers to be the boss. I have to have a lot of questions, and I have to have a freakishly unbreakable commitment to do the right thing and love and protect our people, our process, our communities, our responsibilities, and the generator turn. But I have to have the courage to recognize, and I will write this down, start at start. We're going to dive into some calculators that might make you sick. Okay? By show of hands, there's really not a big ego in automotive, is there? <laughs> we have ego problems, right? So your ego will tell you, when I'm reading some of these metrics, bullshit, can't be done. <coughs> okay? Can't be done. There are a number of our associates and managers and leaders from both corporations and some of our other companies. They're all here. Stop them, talk with them. Folks, we live this every single day. Because your ego will tell you, I can't do that. I can't do it. So therefore, I'm going to tune out. Don't tune out. Don't miss this. Okay? You're here for predicted profit to maximize your sales and your performance utilizing the dealer socket. How many of you, by show of hands, in any form, recognizing folks, we are all in this together, the door is closed, starting at start, having the courage, put your hand in the air if you really don't know. But how many of you use some form of modeling or predictive analytics to be able to tell yourself what's going to happen today, through the weekend, the next month. Hey, you love to share the show. Okay? Anybody else? Okay, well then you're in for a treat. And not because I was saying it, but because we didn't either. Until one day, all of a sudden, we were like, wait a minute. This is absolute math. This is bulletproof science that's going to give us the ability to see exactly what we're going to do. And I'm talking freakish accuracy, folks. Wait till we dive into this. So you're going to read with the ability to do this moving forward. Whether you have the ability to get it in or have the courage to go get after people and do it, that's on you, folks. There's no sarcasm there. That's just the truth of the reality. Okay? All right. Anybody seen this screen before? Okay. Nobody? <laughs> All right. If you are a GM, if you are a GSM, if you're an owner, if you don't see this screen up all the time, go buy more monitors. Go spend 400 bucks, go to Costco, get a giant monitor, stick it in the sales manager's office, put one on your wall, have that thing running all the time. Why? That's your cash machine right there. That is where it's all happening. If these graphs don't move, you have a problem. If they move and there is nothing coming as a result, you have a problem. Okay? This is the opportunity for us to see in real time what are my fresh shots, what are my phone apps, what are my internet, click on it, it's all there. Two seconds, folks. We have 19 stores where I can saw through this stuff and do 30 minutes. Okay? 
and do some quick calculations in my head and know exactly how many units we're going to sell that day. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay? The power in your hands inside a dealer socket is beyond our comprehension. I say that to you because at one time, I dug in the dealer socket and I really augured into it. And all of a sudden it became overwhelming and I had to push away from it. So I made a phone call to one of the leaders of the dealer socket and I said, this system is so vast. Can one human mind possibly comprehend all that's going on here? He goes, are you kidding? Your, man, your head would explode. You're masterful if we use 50% of it. And I am not advocating not using all of it. I'm just saying you have to define based on your role where are my golden reports? Where are my golden screens? This one, for any level of management, you need to live in this. This is your entire operation in one screen. Period. Anybody want to dispute that? It's all gold right here. How many phone ups do I have? You know, better yet, I don't even need to ask. Let me click on it. Four. Why do I have four phones? Uh, well, see, we use the copper line. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? So I invest $100,000 a month to make the phone ring, and you pour it on a copper line? Please tell me I misunderstood what just happened. Right? Now, granted, I'm putting a little bit of a shtick there. But I mean, be loving. Let's say, well, that's over. Let's go get call tracking numbers for everything that we do. Okay? All right. So let's establish some baseline. That's my little graphic for a baseline. You guys think you're good? Yeah. Notice how it's on the home stretch, not on the first base stretch. Okay? All right. Created appointments. I write these things down. Even though you're going to get this, writing them down is a kinetic that will help you to remember it. These are actionable items that will change your life. If you don't know, now you know. How many created appointments do we generate inside our store per associate per month? How many? It's okay. There's too many of you in the room. You'd be having all afternoon. You may not know. But now you know. Go and look at it. How many VIP Manager confirmed percentage of created appointments do we implement in our stores every <laughs> single day. I'll help you with this one. Probably less than 10%, if at all. I'm going to share with you how we do it. Can I get a time check, Ashley, are you? Yeah, 421. 421, we go to 450. All right, we're good. Okay. I'm going to stop here for just a second. <clears throat> Knowing, folks, that I'm going to give you these calculators, but let's talk about the manager confirmation for a minute, shall we? How much money did we invest to make the phone ring? Hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, fifty thousand. Whose money is that? It's ours. Who here's paid on the net? done for a very particular reason. I want you to have skin in the game. I want you to recognize that the money that we invest goes one of two places. In your caring, trusting hands or into the net. Right? Hey, we need X, Y, Z. Well, we can't afford it. Well, why can't we afford it? Uh, we spend money on stupid shit. We don't have any money. <laughs> okay? Fair? Come on, how many times have you guys said, oh my God, if I can have five grand, I can go hire this person and put this system in, and bang, we get another 30 units a month to make another happen. Okay? Don't have it. So the manager confirmation is the single most important thing you can possibly do to change the trajectory of what happens in your store. Immediate pushback number one. I spent 15 years working with customers. I can't stand them. I'm on the desk. This says manager. I'm not talking to customers anymore. I'll be showing up with my Sharpie, <coughs> cut a deal, go outside and smoke. Okay? Yes, that's a silly way of over, over 12. All right. 
right? But the bottom line is, it requires work. See, we have people that come and want to work for the organization, and we'll ask them, you were a GSM, an XYZ store, you sold 350 units a month, you're a candidate for who could possibly be a GM for us one day, share with me, please, how you would confirm appointment, or would you confirm appointment? Well, yeah, we confirm appointments. Do you mind role playing it? Oh, well, uh, okay, sure, shit, why not? Uh, hi. See, so you're coming in on Tuesday. You got a pen in hand? Seriously. Folks, 16 hours of research, right? 9,000 different sites and clicks and crap and analytics, right? To where the phone rang, our assistants did the job. Is this a lead at this point, anybody? Is it a lead? It's a buyer. It's a buyer. They're coming in. They're not coming in to kick tires and jack around and waste their time. This is the me, 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 all about me society. The only one I care about is me. Selfie, click, blah, blah, right? I only care about me. If I'm coming into your store, I'm coming into your store to buy. Okay? I know I'm really hammering on this, but I cannot stress to you enough.